morning. Um, day seven, this is a new territory for me. The last time I've done this, I was finishing six days when I'd done the previous hike. It was only half the distance, but I was finishing six days. So, but I'm more determined than ever. So day seven, it's go time. <laughs>
that's me halfway from Benny Carlo at Torre Blanca, 20 kilometers in. Beautiful day, absolutely stunning scenery. And my headspace is a lot better today, much more positive. Yesterday, I started the day saying I was positive and I needed to change it from a negative into a positive. And I couldn't shake it all day. I was just angry all day. But I had a word with myself last night and I need to change. And I am starting to change. I'll turn that massive negative into a massive positive. But that doesn't mean I forgot. I'll never ever forget what I've seen. But I am going to do something about it and turn it from a negative into a positive. But feeling a lot better, do 20k in, we keep going. across these two and the people in the car have stopped there to help also I'm not sure who they belong to or who the owners are but I'm going to find out now so I couldn't video all that there um, they packed the phone and the police again but stray dogs but this time out in the camo But luckily enough, a nice Spanish couple come along and some more hikers. And there was a number on the collar and they phoned them and the dogs have been lost for a couple of days. So I've given them all my water, the dogs were very thirsty. So it means I do without, but it's well worth it. But the owners are gonna come and find them. And um, they hopefully they're going back to a happy home. But I'll get my foot down now because it's took up quite a bit of my time again. See that don't take that wrongly because I, I would do that all day long but I mean so I can get my hotel before it's dark. I would just like to clarify the two dogs that were just found there and phoned the owners they had bells on their neck so they weren't just used as hunting dogs so I'm hoping that that means that they're gonna go back to a nice house and a nice life. <laughs>
when I want to go until I get to my hotel at Torre Blanca. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling a little bit physically. My feet are very swollen and hurting us. But thinking about the dogs earlier, going back to hopefully a nice home and being reunited with the owners tonight is keeping us going. They seemed in good condition. The coat was clean, the nails weren't long, they smelled clean. Whereas what I smelled two days previously was absolutely horrendous. So hopefully, again, there's some very happy owners tonight and even more importantly, some happy doggies. And I want to go, come on. Hotel for the night in Toby Blanca. Um, at the end of this video, I think some of our current residents of the Kiva will be shown. Um, well, there will be, I know there will be. I'm not sure which ones. If you're interested or looking to adopt the dog, please contact the Kira. We can help transport abroad, but it must be right for the dog and the adopter. That's very important to us at Akira. It's got to be right for both, both parties. Um, I'm not sure what else to say here, I'm very tired. Thank you for donations and um, day seven, done.